everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my 14 to 16 week pregnancy update, just giving you a bit of information on how things have been progressing. Um, the exciting news this week is that we found out the gender, although I won't be set telling anybody till next, pardon me, next weekend. So on the next update you will find out although i will be putting up a video on sunday hopefully so getting into the nitty gritty of how i've been feeling um i would say kind of up and down week sort of 14 15 was feeling a bit better sickness still there not too bad nothing really kind of stands out for week sort of like week 14 15 However, just sort of like the normal stuff, you know, nothing nothing major, just everything I've been telling you. Going into 15 weeks, I would definitely say tiredness came back with a huge kick. And I just felt really tired again. Um, like feeling like I wanted to go to my bed at eight o'clock and be sound -o by like half past and, you know, wait, no really waking up during the night apart from Olivia waking him up or need to go to the toilet. Um, I think that's kind of really been the main thing. And the other thing, well, although there's still nausea, I'll speak pretty quickly about that. Although there's still nausea, it's very much good to have good days and bad days. I'm finding that the days I'm not working seems to be not too bad it's still there it's not a hundred percent gone but it's still there um it's so much so much better but when i'm at my work seems to be the days that i have my bad days i don't know if it's like tiredness or stress because i'm running about trying to get organized to go to work and then dealing with work and then going home and getting olivia sorted and it's just a crazy day and then obviously you've got the stress of it and um, and as I've spoken about before, I can't really eat like small meals. It's it's a lot of snacking. Um, so I, it's it's like not really filling me up enough. So I don't know. Um, I'm trying my best to kind of get back to being slightly healthier. It's really tough. Um, I generally thought by this point that the sickness would have gone. Um, but it's not, it's still very much there, but I am trying to be better um, and make healthier choices, but it is difficult. And as you can see in my face, it's honestly, it's so badly swollen, honestly, I can just feel all the weight piling on now. And I just very much want to like, get this baby out so I can <laughs> lose the weight. Cause it's like, oh. I do not want to be big again. I like being thin. You know, I've worked so hard to get to that point. Like, the, well, obviously I lost quite a lot of weight when I was younger. And then when I put a lot of my weight on with Olivia, I lost it all. And now I'm like, oh God, it's all going back on. And I just don't want that. Um, but it's just par for the course, is it? I just, I struggled to accept putting on weight. I think, I did a lot of fasting when I was um, losing weight because I feel like fasting works for me. It helps me kind of um, get a good sort of balance with food so that I can kind of learn that I'm, I don't have to be hungry and eating all the time. Um, I don't know, it's like it works mentally for me. I don't think it obviously is, it won't necessarily work for everybody but it works for me and I feel like there's just I just want to have a day of not eating and obviously one I wouldn't be able to do that because I'd be feeling sick and two there's just no way I would do that while I was pregnant it's just not viable you know like I can't just go on a plan and eat three regular meals I have to kind of constantly snack but hopefully at least i know you know i've done it before and i will do it again um obviously i haven't really done much exercise i just don't have the time i'm honestly still very much struggling to get to 
do housework and try and keep up with YouTube and Instagram and and play with Olivia and and just stop obviously still feeling really tired and you just I'm just struggling to do everything so there's just really only so much I can do in a day I'm running around after Olivia probably doing a lot of walks so that's kind of the best I can do just now I just cannot commit to working out if I wasn't working I think it would be a lot better um, but I just can't commit to it just now. I really can't. As much as I would love to, if I can at least run around after Olivia and walk some bits here, there, um, I feel like that's the best I can do. <laughs> um, in terms of the other thing that has been really bothering me this last week has been spots. Um, now, not on my face. The last time with Olivia, I quite really bad spots kind of all over down my chest and in my back. Now I wouldn't necessarily say I, I did have one really bad one here. In fact, actually I had an ulcer like down, like in the other, you know, like here on the other side and I actually ended up with a spot at the like, exact same place. So that was horrible. That ulcer was just horrific. Um, and obviously the spot as well, but I've, I noticed this last, like, since that, before that spot came up, just this, like, whole area just looked really, really, like, raised and spotty and really had broken out. Um, it was such a mess. Um, and that's really been the worst of my um, spots. However, like, down here, down my chest, like kind of up my shoulders and my back. I've had quite a lot of like bumps and I had that before with Olivia um, and it's quite sore, like really raw down this side. Um, I've been trying to put like cream and powder and just keep it like dry and clean, um, but it's quite, it gets quite itchy. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot of like spots and really not sore spots, more just like, a bit just like bumpy, like little wee red bumps are coming up. Um, obviously it's just hormones again. <laughs> it's just, what else is there to blame it on? Um, I haven't been too bad with like constipation or bloating, anything like that. I think all that seems to have gone. I've been quite regular. What else? I think that's kind of it. Um, I did see the midwife last week. Like, yeah, it was um, 14, you know, 16 weeks I went to see her, um, just as I turned 16 weeks, but that was just our very, very routine um, update and everything was fine with my sample. She didn't like hear the baby's heartbeat or anything. Um, back to see her when I'm 20 weeks, I think, something like that. No, I think it's like 21 weeks I'm back to see her. Um, but was in and out within like 10, 15 minutes, so nothing major. Um, I think she's booked, yeah, she's booked the antenatal classes for July. Um, what else? I think that's it. There was something I was thinking of, but I can't remember what it is. Baby brain. <laughs> I've definitely been getting a lot of that, doing like really silly things. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. Just, I feel quite a bit better today. I don't feel so tired today. So I'm hoping um, that maybe the tiredness is gone. And if the sickness or the nausea, I should say, would just go, I would feel 10 times better. But I've been feeling a lot bigger. Like, see, by the end of the night, I feel like the bump is quite big and it's uncomfortable. And it's like, I can start, sometimes I kind of have to shift around in bed. And I can't get comfy. Um, I have been feeling a few movements, nothing um, consistent, just quite sporadic. Some days I'll get quite a lot, I'll get maybe a couple of days I'll feel something and then I won't maybe for a day, but I think, I can't remember when I felt first felt, first felt Olivia, but I think I'm so busy, you know, you're just constantly on the go, your mind is thinking about what you need to do the next day or the next whatever next hour um that you just i think i just don't i'm probably missing half of it there's a cut and then there's times where you think was that 
was that a kick or a movement or was it wind or do you know what I mean it's it's so so sporadic at the moment but I can slowly feel it getting like stronger and stronger like the movements and that so that's exciting um I'll be much happier once I can feel it more regularly and know that the little little ones in there but it's coming on really good, um, growth wise at that scan I got everything was fine, um, the baby was measuring and exact, so that's it, I will show you my bump and I will leave it for the next time. So as you can see, the bump is getting big, it's uh, fairly coming on. <laughs> Sometimes I look in the mirror and I think, oh, it's not too bad. And then other times I go, oh my goodness, it's huge. Um, and that's it from the front. It's definitely coming on leaps and bounds. Um, so that's it. I hope you've liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button. And we'll catch you the next time. Bye.